Here we are in Snapshot looking at a deployment pipeline. I'm going to show you how to push and pull source to a Scratch org. So first you need a developer project. You'll need to uh, find your parent folder. I just use my documents folder. And you'll need to give the project a name. Be sure it's in Salesforce DX file format. And from this interface, you can populate your project. For example, you can download packages or use a job list or a snapshot limits file and populate your Salesforce DX project with all kinds of assets. But let's just go straight to the push and pull source tab. And from this menu, you can select one of your existing scratch orgs or you can make a new one. Let's make a new Scratch org. So I hit the Create button, and really you just have to give it a username. OK, there's our Scratch org. And now when I select it, you'll see that it's up to date. And what that means is that your local Salesforce DX project and the Scratch org are in sync with each other. OK, now I can go back to this previous tab and right click here. Let's add something. Let's create an Apex class. And when it does that, you'll see it added to the Classes folder. And you can also open your Project folder right here. And you'll see there are your classes on your local computer as well. And now I can go back to push and pull source, and you'll want to refresh the status, and you'll see there's a local add, the Apex class that we just added. Now let's push it to the Scratch org. And now you see there's a remote add, and that's a profile change that added the class to the admin profile. So now if you pull, you're back up to date. Now you can also do this in the other direction. So let's launch a remote browser and open up the Scratch org. So here we are in the Scratch org. Let's go into Setup and do something simple like create an object. And now let's give it a field and save our work. And now we can go back to Snapshot and refresh the status list. And we'll see there's a remote ad in the profile for the field and the object in the layout. And here's the custom field and the custom object. And so now I can pull. And we're back up to date. And if you go back and look at the project, now you'll see all of those objects that I just added. The Push and Pull Source tab has a couple of other options that I should mention. One is you can set up Ignore Metadata Types, and this will let you know which metadata types you want to push. Another thing uh, to mention is that you can choose the Force Overwrites and Ignore warning, Warnings buttons as well. And this makes um, the push and pull source work a little bit better for complex projects. All right, there we go, using Salesforce DX Scratch Orgs to push and pull source to a local project.